Indicate Beyond the Screens Tabletop Edition. Uh, we're so happy to, to be here playing Ambush today, um, which is one of our nominees for um, this year's Tabletop Games Award. Um, I'm Aaron Trammell. Um, I'm one of the hosts of Tabletop Beyond the Screens for Tabletop Games and part of the Tabletop Games Jury. And with me today are Michael and Matsuo, um, who are two of the designers of Ambush. So Michael and Matsuo, do you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Michael Ford. Uh, I am the uh, sort of designer for Ambush. I got to, you know, write a bunch of the, the card text and stuff, sort of sort of develop how these cards would uh, kind of work together. Um, yeah, Masato, if you want to go. Sure. Uh, I'm Masato Lin. I was the lead uh, like artist or main artist for the team and character designer. Um, I also did all of like the card background, basically most of the art and even the promotional art for the Kickstarter page uh, when the game was launching then. It's really wonderful to be here with both of you. So um, we played Ambush. We loved it. We think it's such an exciting game. Um, I think you really did some interesting things with the mechanics here that I haven't seen um, in other games before. And I don't, I don't think that um, other games that do this sort of thing have executed them as well as Ambush Quaid has. Um, so I was wondering if maybe you could tell the audience a little about the game. Uh, like, what is this game? How does it work? Yeah, um, so Ambush actually started um, as a, a class assignment. Um, and the sort of the uh, constraints of the assignment were that we had to make the assignment channel uh, a certain emotion. And Masato and I went for sort of channeling the feeling of being overwhelmed. Uh, and kind of the first thing we thought of was um, Memory Match, because I've always found Memory Match to be a weirdly stressful game. Um, so it was Memory Match with a time crunch. And then we kind of added on these layers of, you know, why is there a time crunch? You know, you're, you're attacking other players, you're trying to get the best cards before the other players can. Um, and as we kind of layered on these additional mechanics, we wanted to make sure that kind of memory match with a time constraint was sort of at the, the core of the, the game, just because we thought that was a really fun uh, mechanic. And every time we showed our friends, uh, you know, crazy things would happen with that mechanic. You know, people would be pushing each other to grab the cards. You know, someone in one play test, someone actually just like grabbed the entire table and dragged it to the other side of the room so that they could get all the cards before the other players. Um, so, so we just saw people having a lot of fun with that sort of memory match idea and wanted to you know, take that as far as we could with this game. Yeah, I didn't expect, I, so I personally hate the memory match mechanic. <laughs> um, it's, it's a game mechanic that, um, which for those of you listening, that's you know, that old game where you, you flip over cards and you have to find the two that match. Um, I, I, I don't know if I find it stressful, but I, I find it aggravating. It, it just, it generally aggravates me. I don't really like it in games. Um, but it really worked in the theme here. And I was surprised because it made me challenge what I thought I knew about memory match. I was like, why am I, why am I enjoying this when I played this game as opposed to being fundamentally upset? So, so kudos on that. Um, yeah, so can you tell us a little more about um, some of your inspiration for the theme and artwork here? Like, how did these things come together into Ambush? Um, yeah, uh, for in terms of the theming, I remember Mike said for the like when we converted into a final project for the class, he was like, I want it to originally the the theme was World War Two. And then for the final project, we wanted to uh, transition more to like a medieval fantasy theme uh to also like tie into like the whole like like creating you know like it's like um controlling units and all of that and then so from there we took for me art wise for a lot of the character like designs and stuff uh a lot of the inspiration came from stuff that was that i was a little bit acquainted with so like world of warcraft for uh i think like the i think the ram used uh or something like that and um, we had some uh, enemies from Dark Souls that were also inspirations for some of the character designs. I think the knight in particular. And um, some things from, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Lord of the Rings and 
uh what was it <laughs> one of the funniest ones actually was uh the animated movie epic <laughs> for the pixie <laughs> i i i think i think those inspirations all really come through so i was wondering if um maybe you could kind of uh we could move over to your screen and maybe you could walk the audience through um, how the game works and we could play maybe around. I know it's not that long a game, so maybe maybe more than around. Sure thing. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Let me just get the screen share running. All right, we should be, you guys can see the, the tabletop simulator all fine? Yeah. All right, awesome. So yeah, um, basically every game of Ambush starts, um, you draw your starting hand of five cards. So let me just, uh-oh, <laughs> let me just do that real quick. Uh, I gotta be fast, I know that's a, a big part of the game is. Yeah. All right, so I have my starting five cards. Um, and basically every turn uh, starts when you basically look at the top card, uh, you flip it over. So I got an Ironwood Witch. Uh, this basically lets the choose any card on the battlefield and switch it with another card in my hand. So this is a very good like battlefield control card if you want to kind of uh, manipulate where certain cards are positioned. So uh, I'm, I kind of want this card. So basically I'm going to flip it face down and put it here on this side of the deck so it's a bit closer to me so that when that ambush phase hits and everyone's grabbing for cards, uh, it will make it a bit easier for me to get it before some of the other players. Uh, so that's the first part of my turn. The second part of my turn, uh, I basically get to play a card. So I think I'm gonna go with the New Mind Wizard. Uh, basically what that lets me do is I deal four damage to another player. And I also get to search the deck for an ambush card and put that down onto the battlefield as well. Uh, so basically once there are two ambush cards down on the battlefield at any time, uh, that's when everyone starts grabbing cards. So it kind of helps me to get another ambush card down as soon as possible, just so that the sort of hectic color, the, the hectic part of the game comes a bit sooner. I can grab what I want. So let me, let me search for an ambush card. I'm going to pull that out, show that to, uh-oh, I threw it over there. All right, so this is the ambush card. Uh, text is a bit hard to read right now, but... If any two of these are down on the battlefield at any time, that's when the ambush starts and everyone starts grabbing for cards. Uh, and since these are all face down, um, obviously you kind of have to want to remember where you put what. So I remember that I put the witch here, ambush here, um, and the wizard here. So hopefully I still remember that when that second ambush card comes down and everyone starts grabbing. Um, the wizard <laughs> also... Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, didn't you deal some damage with the 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 this this guy? Yeah, yeah, I do. I deal four damage. Um, Masato, I'm sorry. I I got to do it to you. You're, I can't you're just, believe this. You're too much of a threat. I got to take you out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we kind of go. I guess we go clockwise from there, and so. Um, if, if we just want to continue the round, uh, I guess that means Masato is next. Yeah, let's, let's play. Um, and so the really unique thing here is that we, we don't actually draw cards unless cards let us draw cards or we gain cards in the ambush. And at that point, we really don't want to take the ambush cards because that's, we, we get bad things when that happens, correct? Yes. Uh, there, there are certain cards that if they're down on the battlefield, when the ambush happens and you... You pick them up because you forgot you were there. You'll actually take damage just from drawing them. Yeah. And remind me, what happens if I draw the ambush card again? Yeah. Um, so the ambush doesn't start until two ambush cards are down on the battlefield. So since I already put one down with the wizard, uh, the second an additional ambush card comes up and goes down on the battlefield, it's, it's a free-for-all. So everyone can grab as many cards as they want off of the battlefield. Um, and you want to try to remember where the best cards are hidden and pick those up before the other players do. All right, let's go. All righty. So I'll draw one, flip it over. It is the um, bomb bug. This one's kind of a dangerous card. <laughs> that's the one you don't want to pick. Yes. 
Uh, because this one, I think once and if it's in an ambush phase and you pick this card up, it does five damage to you. And so this is more of a a a sort of incentive of like not of keeping track of certain things on the board because some things are good for you, but then some things are extremely bad. And I, I see you're putting it right next to me. Yes, of <laughs> course. For the four so damage. I, I get I get to draw it. <laughs> Um, and then we shall do, we can go out, we can go out a little, a little strong. We can do, um, I'll call a Ram, uh, against, against Mike. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I had that. Those are going to let me win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to, we'll, we'll fall to infighting. Yes. I'll place that right so here. Here, this is a question. Can I draw cards from this deck in the middle during an ambush? No. No. <laughs> It'd be funny if you could. But um, it is part of the grid. I I suppose it is technically part of the grid, yeah. Um, <laughs> um that's actually happened a few times. Sometimes, you know, in the not as much in the tabletop version, obviously, but in the physical version, a lot of the time someone will kind of lunge for one of the cards in the middle and end up knocking the deck over and they mm. go all over the table. Um, it's not an intended mechanic to be sure, but it's definitely really funny when it does end up happening. Mm -hmm. All righty. Um, yeah. And then I guess that, yeah, that's my end of my turn. <laughs> all right. So I draw a card. Yes. See what it is. Oh, it's not an ambush. Thank God. <laughs> goblin. If you already played a goblin soldier card this turn, you may deal three damage to the targeted player instead of one. I have not, so I'm going to target, you know, I, I want to share the damage, so I'm going to target Masato. <laughs> oh, wait. Um. So cards that are drawn from the oh, right, middle right, right. Yeah, do not have a, the effect. The effect is only if you draw it from your hand. All right, I'll just put it right here. Thank, thank you for that reminder. Yes. Um. All right, this is this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna use an Elvis Ooh. Archer to to Ooh. even things. I'm gonna do it to Masato. <laughs> okay. Uh, three damage. One, two, three. And then I get to take two cards from your hand secretly. Yes. Show them to everybody and then put them on the battlefield. So I'll take this one. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh no. <laughs> Once that goes down, is it ambush? It's an ambush. Yes, ambush. it is ambush. Okay, all right. I got that one. Uh, you can take it. No, no, no. You you want it, remember? No, no, no. no. I don't want it. No, no, no. You card. can have it. You can have it. <laughs> I don't want... Okay, so we're leaving that card here. No one wants it. No one yeah. wants it, because I, I think we all remember. Let's let's flip it back up. Yeah, it's that was the bomb bug. So that would have done... That would have done five damage to anyone who, who was foolish enough to pick it up. But luckily, uh, we all remembered where it was. We didn't, didn't take any damage from it. All right, and so this ambush card does it get shuffled back in the deck now? Yeah, yeah. Every everything that wasn't picked up just goes back into the central deck. Um, what's the button to shuffle into R. R. There we go. All right. And then this this elvish archer that that went down. Yeah, since it was like just played, it, it goes down back onto the, the battlefield. Into the grid. Okay. Yeah, to so start got... start a new grid. Okay, so she's there, and I had only taken one card before I triggered an ambush. So I get to take another card still, correct? Yes, you get to take yeah. another one of my cards. All right, let's see. What, this, what is this? Ooh. Oh, it's the ram. That is the ram. That's a powerful card. All right, I'm going to flip that over. I'll put that by me right here onto the grid. And that's that's my turn. Look at that. Still at 30 damage. Oh. Someone's, someone's going to have to knock you off. You're... Well, you you all have been focusing on each other. For... <laughs> That's true. All right. Maybe maybe my next card will... Uh -oh, I just picked up the whole deck. All right. There we go. Uh, ooh. All right. So this is an interesting one. This is the Lord of the Forest. Um, basically, what this guy lets me do, if you see that little plus three, um, he basically lets me play. He doesn't do anything himself. But after I play him, I can use three cards on my turn instead of one. Uh, so basically, if I play him, I get to have sort of a, a super turn where I can play a bunch of cards at the same time. So I will 
keep him right here nearby me so I can grab him if I want to. Um, I guess from there, oh, actually, let's, let's do something a bit strategic. So I'm, I'm going to play the Ironwood Witch. Um, basically, this has uh, choose any card on the battlefield and switch it with a card in your hand. So I'm actually going to play her and then switch that Lord of the Forest with this card from my hand. So now I got this guy, and I'll put this card down in its place. I don't think I have to show anyone what it was. So that could be a bomb bug. That could be a bomb bug. Could I could be. have just put a, put a trap there. It could but be it something be, good. <laughs> it might be a really good thing also, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the witch actually um, has this little plus one uh, next to her, which means I can play an additional card. So mm-hmm. I will play another, um, let's actually play another wizard. Just get that down. Uh, that's another four damage. And I will, I, I am going to do that to you, Aaron, just to, to keep us all on the same level, knock you down a peg as well. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Um, you you are going to incur my wrath because of that. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) And then I'll I'll put the ambush down uh, as the wizard's special effect. And I'll put that down right right over here. So so I know where it is. Uh, Yeah, and I think think that's that's it for my turn. All right. Well, I think... All right. Um... I will play Oh wait, who's wait, who's turning? Oh, yeah, it's your turn. <laughs> wait, yeah, sorry. <laughs> ahead. I'm, no, skip I'm thinking I'm thinking ahead. I've got like advanced strategy going on. Oh, right. yeah, you got you got to think you know, it's it's on the same level as chess. <laughs> Elven archer is here. Hmm. Who do I what do I play? I will play. Hmm. All right. This is something I, I don't get too much of a chance to play, but I will be playing the third sister of the Crystal Pond oh. as well as the first sister of the Crystal Pond. Oh, you got both of them. Yes. And so what this ha- what this does is since I have two of them in my hand, there are a total of three. Um, if I have two of them, I get to get gain back five uh health points for myself i was at 23 so i am now at 28 and if i had all three and i turned them in then i would um gain 15 points of health um, it doesn't I, happen in a really long time i think that that's happened like two or three times in all our play tests yes <laughs> it is a very, very hard, hard to get and and can you go over 30 health uh um, you can yeah um right. So I'm gonna. I, I, think... I gotta play. Uh oh. I gotta drop the wizard. <laughs> oh. Oh. So I get to search this. And are you all ready for this? I'm. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I think. Hang on. I gotta X out of this. Uh, <laughs> it's an ambush. The ambush. <laughs> Okay, all right. I I don't remember what that was. I don't trust it. <laughs> all right. Well, what's my haul? What did I get? I got my witch back. I got the archer, Aww. a wizard. All right, not bad. Not bad. All right, I got this first sister. I got the ram. I got the pixie Ooh. back, and oh. I got the second sister. He got the sisters. Oh wow. All right, so we need to make sure he doesn't find the third one. <laughs> That's our new priority, is, is keeping the third sister of Crystal Ponds between you and me, Masato. <laughs> it's yes. for the, the best of the game. The greater good. The greater good. All right, your turn. All right. Um, you know, I'm... All right, let's, let's take a card from the top. Oh, all right, it's another ambush. So now we know that's down. I'm going to put it right here. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually, I, I kind of want one of those sisters. So I'm going to play the Ironwood Bandit against you, Aaron. Uh, okay. So that's that's three damage to you. Uh, and I also get to pull a card from your hand. I don't get to look. Hang on. So gonna, I I gotta can't, read, oh, I yeah. You're going to shuffle them around. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to rearrange some things here. 
Okay. Make sure you don't know where my goods are. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. Let's. I got a good feeling about this one. This one, it has good vibes. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> it didn't have good vibes. I, I used the power of the vibes to get the third sister. All right. So I will tuck that away in my hands. Um, and now I believe it is Masato's turn. Yes. All righty. Two. Okay. Another bandit. And mm, what would I play? What should I play? Uh, mm, yeah, Aaron, your hand is looking a little bit too big for my taste. So I'm <laughs> playing at all. The Elven Archer. Oh, you're going <laughs> to Elven Archer me. Okay. Yes. And so that does, yeah, three damage and two cards from your hand into the battlefield. All right, you can choose them. All righty. This one, ooh, Pixie Scout. And this one, ooh, Goblin Soldier. Uh, uh, let me rotate again. It is... It's Q or E. Q or E, okay, thank you. Um, And there's a little weightlifter at the top of your screen. If you click the number next to that to 90, it'll make them oh. easy rotates. Wait, oh, uh, that's very nice. I never knew that. That's yeah, spend um, enough time in this platform <laughs> and learn all these weird things. Yeah, we, we haven't been in the, the tabletop version of this for a while. We we made it for the Kickstarter as a, I think, a, a backer reward. If you, if you couldn't quite afford the physical tier, you could get the tabletop link. Um, yeah. and then I, I don't think we've actually played it since the Kickstarter, so it's it's been a while. <laughs> So I, I forget things about Tabletop Simulator. Mm -hmm. And was it your turn, Masato? Yes, that was my... Yeah, that's the end of my turn. All right, let's 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 do this. Oh, oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's taking the whole deck. He's running off with it. All right. Oh, Ooh. okay. It's Orkish Berserker. Berserker. What does this guy do? Effective player must shuffle their entire hand into the central deck, then draw two, three new cards. Okay, that's that's powerful. Oh yeah, you can you can put it near me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will play the Pixie Scout. Choose Ooh. three cards, look at them, and then move them around. So I'm just gonna peek this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Okay. Um, and then this lets me. Then put them back any way you want. So I can rearrange these three like a shell game. <laughs> uh, okay. And I'm just going to remember to peek so I know where the, the things are. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to flip the scout and Pixie put her in the far part of the table away from me. Now I get another play because she gives me a plus one. Yeah. So I'm gonna play the Orcish Berserker. Uh oh. And I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna target Michael. No. Because <laughs> he's oh, so there goes my there goes my Lord of the Forest, my sister, my my Elven Archer. They're all all gone. Yeah. All shuffled into the give up your deck. goods. All right. Goodbye, goodbye, good cards. <laughs> all right, and I get three new ones. So yeah. not all is lost. Maybe I'll get something good. Maybe not. <laughs> all right, and Michael, it's your turn. All right. Um, all right. So I draw. I got ah. Okay. So this is the this is the Burnstone Blacksmith. Um, he basically lets you draw three cards and put them into your hands. Uh, he's pretty good. I like him. That's really so I'm good. Gonna, I'm gonna keep him right, right here next to me. Uh, so hopefully I can grab him in the next ambush. Um, Masato, you're you're looking like you have a bit too much health. I gotta be honest. Excuse um, me. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play the Goblin Soldier Ooh. for one damage. That was that was my Goblin Soldier. <laughs> no, it wasn't because it's a new one. Huh. Oh yeah, from oh, the deck. It? 
It could oh, which means I can so. get another one and, and combo them if I'm smart. All right, so that's one damage, and one I also damage. get to play an additional card because of this little little plus one icon. Yes. So I'm going to play another new mind wizard for four damage. Oh, wow. And, and search the deck for this, this little guy. Okay, that's time. Is, yeah. Wait, it is, is ambush time. I, I don't actually know. Is it an ambush? Isn't there a rule where if you um, if you call an ambush and there is no ambush, like a bad thing happens? Yeah, you have to shuffle all your cards into the central deck, which is why I'm hesitant to call it because I don't actually <laughs> I don't actually know if. Yeah, I forget. Also, I thought there was, but I I'm I'm not willing to call an ambush right now. Yes, I. I'll let someone else do it, or we'll just we can continue playing. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. If there is <laughs> one. I think that might be the first one. Mm. I don't want to take the risk. <laughs> yeah. All right. So is it my turn then? Yeah. Alrighty. All oh, right. another goblin soldier. Goblin, goblin soldier. Very nice. I'll oh, place that there. Valuable. And I will be calling. An ambush. Oh, oh, okay. That's definitely one. All right. All right. Uh there. Okay. All right. What I get. Right. Okay. So we, there are two and oh, there was a third. Yeah. So it was there oh, was, so we could have that was valid. Wow. That's crazy. I get All two right. goblin soldiers, a wizard, two wizards, and a berserker. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, let's see. All right, I got a black spirit, so I'm pretty, pretty psyched about that. Yes. Oh, okay. there's also I do remember there was also a thing on hand limits. Uh, I remember. I think it's wait. It's wait. ten. So I think we're. Let's see, one, two, I think three. we're still good then. Yeah. I got ten. Yeah, okay. he's right at right at the limit. <laughs> All right. He's being tactful about it. T tactical. I have seven. Okay. Alrighty. And yeah, and then I that is my turn. And I just placed right there. I think it, it gets shuffled. Oh, it gets shuffled? Okay. Yeah. All right. Check it out. All right. Um, so I gotta go for the leader. So I'm gonna play a goblin soldier, deal damage. Uh, to all right, it's only one damage. Oh, wait, before I do that, I need to draw a card. So let's let's see what happens here. Ooh. Ooh, it's a knight. What does this do? That looking, take one card from the target player's hand, show it to all their players, and face it, place it face down on the battlefield. Okay, that's nice. Four damage, too. Knight goes there. I'm going to play a goblin soldier and deal damage to Michael. Okay, all right. That's one damage. It's not too bad. I can, I can survive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a goblin soldier. Um... And hit Michael Met does three. And then I'm gonna play that. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go. Another three. The classic. And then I still have more actions. So I'm gonna play the first sister and the second sister. Oh, oh wait. Man. Oh, yeah, I get, I can play two at once, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what, 10 life? Uh um, it's three. I think five, five. if it's, it's five. only two. Yeah. Yeah, five, five for two, three. 15 for three. All right, so I'll, I'll put I put her right here. I'll put her right here. Put this goblin right here. <laughs> this goblin right here. And this goblin right here. Okay. Your turn, Michael. All right. Well, I got to... Man, all right. I need, I need some more cards. I need to recover from all that. So let's... Oh, all right. Oh, there's another broomstone knight. Another knight. Yeah. So I'll, I'll put him right here. Then I'm going to play the blacksmith just because I could really use a few more cards. Uh, so it lets me draw three cards from the central deck and put them into my hand and then play an additional card. So it's one, it's two, it's three. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Um, you know, actually, I'm also going to play the Ironwood Witch. 
because she also lets me play an additional card. I'll put her down, and then I will switch. I think you put one of the sisters here. <laughs> so I'm going to grab that and put this card down in its place. All right, I did get one of the sisters. That's good. That's good. Uh, and then to finish off my turn, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a Revenge Orc. I'm going to play the Orcish Berserker uh, again, against you, Aaron. You oh, took too many oh, of my cards. Oh. you got to shuffle your hand. That's okay. I had this wizard, another wizard, a berserker, a bandit, oh. and also the all-powerful ram. The ram. Yeah, that was good. All right. Well, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> yeah, I gotta rebuild my goblin army. Is what I really have to do. The so. goblin. It's like the I think the classic combo oh. that like most people start off with is like multiple goblin soldiers and then ended it with a ram because that's usually like one of the highest damaging combos mm -hmm. yeah. i could have done that but i i, <laughs> I chose the opposite of the ram Preserving yeah oh. yeah uh um, so yeah that that's the end of my turn all righty i guess it'd be my end of start of my turn we got a bandit well that's nice we'll place that here I will place um, a Pixie Scout. Oh, that, that card's great. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll check out these cards. Like the board is is hitting a point of total chaos right now. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember where anything is. And I'm certainly not helping. No, definitely. And then this one. Oh, you could put them see. back anywhere. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's this one guy who we used to play test with who would actually just make a crazy long line of cards across the table. <laughs> <laughs> straight to him. Um, yeah. And then I will then place down an Ironwood Bandit, and I will do the, I will do the damage to Aaron, and I will also steal oh. one of your cards. You steal one of my three cards. Yeah, he's only got three cards. cards. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just uh, it's just the, uh, it's just how things are. That was a terrific Ooh. card. You just took. It's a pretty good card. <laughs> I mean, the alternative is hitting me, and I'm 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 all the way down at seventeen. I'm already suffering. More bandits in the woods. Let's get this Got guy a lot of bandits. somewhere. Let's put him here. Um, and I just want to show the players, the viewers, what happens. This might not be the best decision. Oh, a bomb bug. So I'm gonna play that. Let's put that right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, completely I've got, neutral. <laughs> a I've neutral got, location. I see the Rimadan Ram. And I'm actually gonna I'm gonna ram Michael um, ah, just cool. just to make him a more tempting target <laughs> for people looking to you know to you know I'm I'm gonna play the dwarven shield and I'm not taking Ooh. that that's good okay yeah so, so when a, when another player plays a card that would damage you you may play this to ignore all damage so I'm I'm not taking that ram um, yeah that's I'm okay. gonna block it I do have to put it down so I I got rid of my one. My one shield, but I think it's worth the six damage. And so now I don't have cards in my hand, and I'm not going to get cards until there's an ambush. No. <laughs> so I, I'm just a sitting duck at this point. Yes. <laughs> yes, you definitely are. Okay. You can't <laughs> You can't get back at us if we go for you. Uh, okay. All right. Let's there's an ambush down. I don't... I'm not going to call it. <laughs> I... I will call it ambush. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, take this. I'll take this. Uh, I don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Uh, this one's mine. All, All right. right. Probably got a bomb bug there, but let's see what I got. I got my shieldman back. That's good. I got my berserker. I got my witch. Okay, and I got one of the sisters. All right, we're we're doing well. We're doing good. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Oh, I got two ambush cards. So I can just hang on to those. 
Oh, so I guess. Oh, yeah, so there were two. There were two ambushes. All right, so I only was a bomb bug. <laughs> Five damage. Ooh. Um, how many cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I should get rid of two cards. Oh, whoops! Sorry. And this one, and place them back into the deck. All right. I'm glad you called the ambush because I didn't remember that there was an ambush. So I, I I didn't know there was one either. I just only know because I when I did the pixie scout, my the third card I grabbed was an ambush. Ah, so you remembered it was. I remember there was one. There was one already Mm -hmm. there. Big brain. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Whose turn is it now? It is your turn. Okay. I'll draw from the middle. Ooh, immediately a new ambush card. And I will place. Ooh. Okay. All right. Wait, hold on. Can I kill someone right now? No, I can't. But. I can get pretty close. <laughs> um, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, let's that's not do. Good. <laughs> we're at I the will... same. We're at the same health. We're we're equally vulnerable. I will. Hmm, I will do. All right. Let's do. Let's do this against. Let's do this against Mike. Uh, we'll do Goblin Soldier. Another Goblin Soldier. He's he's harnessed your goblin army and a third goblin soldier. <laughs> yeah, and then finishing off with the ram. Oh, all wow. right, all right. I'm I'm not taking that ram. You can the the goblin soldiers. I can't do anything about. But oh, okay. Somehow I created a group. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just click off. I think. Yeah, click off. Oh, okay. okay. There we go. <laughs> so that's, I'm not taking that ram. Yeah, one. Uh, I'll deal one, with two, the goblins, three, four, five, not the six, ram. Seven. Yeah, seven damage. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, the Dwarven Shieldman is only good for for the most recent card played. So I only get to use it for one attack, but yes. I, I think the Ram is the right choice there. That that card was historically very hard to balance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. At one point, it was text that wouldn't even fit on the card because it was covering <laughs> to, every so single edge, edge case that you yeah. would play it in. But I think we got it to a good point now. All right, um, I'm gonna play my bomb bug. This, this thing burnt me once, but <laughs> um, I'm going to play a goblin soldier. I'll deal damage. Um, uh, le to Masudo. Yes. Uh, so that's one damage to me. I'll put this one here. I am going to play the Burnstone Blacksmith, which lets me draw cards. Oh, so he's charging card. up. So take three. And let's see what else I'm going to do. Um... Play the Ironwood Witch. Choose this card. So you choose this card and replace it with a card from my hand. What could that be? Uh, that's that's a bomb bar. I, I I ain't touching that. <laughs> <laughs> that one's cursed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play Goblin Soldier. Deal three to Masuda. Okay. Yes, one, Ooh. two, three. I'm now at nineteen. Ain't touching that or or this. These are both dangerous cards now. Um, oh, I didn't put this witch onto the table when I played her, so she she has to go down. And then, last but not least, well, it's still not over. I'm gonna play my pixie scout. Wow! So lets me take and rearrange three cards. So let's take this card. Let's take this card. And let's take this card. Wow. I remember during... That's even more of a shell game. 
I remember during play testing, I think we had one person um do put bomb bugs everywhere and then also um uh did pixie scouts to rearrange where they were and they would intentionally call a false ambush to incentivize people to pick them up and then do damage that way last card i'm gonna call an ambush oh, oh no, wait, no. Ambush. Uh, i don't remember okay uh this i don't trust anything else i'm too scared <laughs> Is that what is that? What is that? What is that? Okay, oh, that was Good. Goblin Soldier. Anyone, I, anyone want anything else? Or all right, by all I, means, you know, just, <laughs> ah, okay. So someone avoided a bomb bug, and I guess that was that was just an Ironwood Witch, yeah. All right, flip that. That over here. All right, and let's do um, let's do one final round, and then let's debrief on the game. All right, so I'll probably be dead. <laughs> good. I'm only at ten health. Let's see if I survive. Let's see if uh, Mike can survive. All right. Ooh. All right. Oh, so this is might survive. <laughs> to, well, I just pulled it. I didn't get to. Oh wait. Yeah. Use it. Yeah. Uh, but this is a very good card. It's the golem. Um, basically, gives me. I may ignore all damage and effects from cards until my next turn. Uh, basically protects me for an entire round. Um, but you can only play it at the beginning of your turn, which is what that little crown means. So, unfortunately, it's come a bit too late for me. Uh, <laughs> I will, however, I'm going to play this Ironwood Witch um, and swap oh. that golem. Just, just so that I can have it. <laughs> just so I can't get it. <laughs> just, so, just so Masato can't get it. That's the main point. Um, what does this golem do? Just say it one more time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought the golem was still there, so I flipped. Well, now everyone knows that's there. Um, the golem basically protects you for an entire round. Um, so, you know, basically you force the other two players to fight each other yeah. for an entire round. Um, the one drawback to it is that it has to be the first card played on your turn. Otherwise, you can't use it. So since it is in my hand right now, which is great, but since I've already used the Ironwood Witch, I can't play the Golem quite yet. Gotcha. I have to wait until next turn when I'll probably be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but just so I go down with a fight, um, I am going to play this Goblin Soldier uh, to deal one damage to Masato. I can't believe this. And, and I'm also going to play an Orcus Berserker to knock out Masato's hand. On me? Oh, my, my whole strategy. My whole strategy is crumbled. No strategy for you. How do I select my whole hand? Uh, uh, I think you can drag and... Oh. Wait, there it is. There's nope, never mind. Oh, yeah, you just drag over to highlight, and then once they're all highlighted, you can hit G to gather the cards. Ah, okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah. G. Oh. Never mind. I'll just do one by one. The easy way and the hard way. The hard way. <laughs> the easy way or the hard way. All right, I'll clean this up for you. All right, thank you. Do you draw cards first? Um, I'll draw. Oh yeah, I should draw cards now. One, it's three cards, right? Yeah. Okay. You can also ah, oh, deck cards deck. Um, you can also tell the deck how many cards you want to draw just by pressing the number when you're hovering over it. Ah, I see. I see. This is a PSA for tabletop simulator. <laughs> Yes, it really is. Yeah. Oh, I just. Oh, damn it. Okay, I mean, I got, I got a good card, but yeah. <laughs> All right, and All okay, right. so well, that's the end of my turn. I can't do anything else. All right. Let's call. At it. least I went down. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we have the dragon, the fire drake. Finally, a late, a late appearance. Wow. Yeah. Um. And then you want to kind of talk about what that does? Yes. So the um, 
what the fire drake does is it deals five damage to all of their castles and um yeah and then also dis forces them to discard three from their hand and uh place them into the battlefield um and yeah it's it's a of course a lot stronger with big bigger groups of people since it damages it's an airy everybody. effect it damages everybody and it takes three cards from everyone's hand um but yeah it is one of those cards where you have to do it place it in the in the first card of your turn and it is mm -hmm. um blockable but yeah it's op <laughs> very op um and as a last ditch effort uh mike i'm gonna call the ram on you oh uh, i'm out of i'm out of dwarves man how could you do that i'm gonna try to see if if it's possible <laughs> to have a player death <laughs> if we can kill mike before we the game kill is mike over. all right i'm drawing my card oh Ooh. it's lord king of the forest again he's back i'll put him here it's back again all right, we're going to have a player death because I'm going <laughs> to Goblin Soldier to Michael for one. All right, that's one. I'm still hanging on. I got three left. Right there. Goblin Soldier to Michael. Oh, uh, no. Ah, it's dead. over. It's I'm over. <laughs> Overkill Castle, damage. Castle Mike is, is no more. <laughs> that's Burnstone Blacksmith to get to recharge, get three more. And oh, damn, I don't have. I don't have anything that great, so I'm just gonna brimstone might uh uh Masato for okay. four. One, two, three, four. Take, and take one of his two cards. Take his shield. Ooh. Yes, my shield. My empire crumbles. I, I shuffle my cards into the central deck as my <laughs> final act. <laughs> Your and final that, decree. And that is um that's ambush. Yes. Yeah. So you both must be feeling pretty proud of this game. It's really innovative. It's really fun. It's a great um for like, you know, sort of like exploding kittens weight game. This is a really fun one. Um uh yeah, I guess um how did you come up with this this idea, this draw mechanic? Because I, I really think that's where this game is doing something different that I've never seen before. Uh yeah. So the, the draw mechanic um is you know, something we think is is really cool, kind of like what you were saying. Um, and it pretty much is just kind of um, sort of inspired by a lot of the sort of memory match games um, that I, I used to play a lot as a kid for whatever reason. Um, and I think you were talking about how, like, those were always kind of aggravating, aggravating stressful games. Um, and so, you know, we, we kind of wanted to sort of take that and be, you know, what if we could have good aggravation? What if we could have like good stress? Um, Cause I, I think when people are stressed, they, they do things they normally wouldn't do. Um, and in real life, when you're stressed, obviously that that's no fun, but within the context of a game, if, you know, the stakes are low and everyone's just kind of messing around, I think that kind of that rush of adrenaline and people, doing things they normally want to do because they're they're just doing the first thing that pops into their head and grabbing what they can um it can it can just lead to some really fun moments and uh it's it's a mechanic i'm really happy that we were able to kind of fold into the game uh and and build around and do you all have have you seen some players just being really good at this game oh yeah, yeah. oh definitely yeah uh i think it was actually Masato. You had someone in your one of your uh, that Friday board game night. Yes. Um, for every Friday, there was a board game club like meeting. And so it'd be like me and then a couple of my friends there. We would play through it. And that's when like I started seeing a lot of the like big brain plays started being developed, like such as like, yeah, someone who placed down like three or four bomb bugs. And then uh, a couple of pixie, pixie scouts to like mix it up for like very thoroughly for everyone else, and then call the false ambush to try to get try to get damage on people. Um, <laughs> that and right, then also you that's can, you can yeah. call an ambush even if it's a bluff, right? Yeah, and then the yeah. only thing is that you can't get any of the cards, but everyone else can, mm -hmm. and stuff like and that. Then and then that's takes damage. Yeah. It doesn't it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, and then that's also where a lot of the like. A lot of the balancing also started to come into play where we started seeing like 
sometimes there are some things where people like things can get broken very easily or things can get a little bit overpowered if you just had like these three cards or something. So we had to, we took a lot of the play testing and feedback from that and like writing notes down of just like me and like in the board game night, like playing it through. And then after that, I seeing something and then just like writing it down on my phone and be like, okay, that will be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> from that, from that one guy who figured out how to break everything. Yeah. <laughs> I was um I I did have all three sisters in my hand at one point um Ooh, when you stole the sister I was like ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna gain so much life um, I ruined it for you um, I had no idea I was I was just trying to get good cards you know yeah. <laughs> um yeah so Masato I I you did such a wonderful job with this artwork um I I don't know what there is to say about it but um. It must have taken you some time. I mean, it's generic fantasy, this world, but I just feel like it's got this really colorful, almost anime kind of style to it. Like, yes. I really like it. Yes. Um, yeah, the inspiration was definitely a lot more like medieval fantasy stuff, but it took me, I think it took me a good, it was like two weeks for like the proto like um, like artwork. And then afterwards, we I went back ahead and spent another two weeks of like redrawing all the characters and also redoing the backgrounds because I think for the um, for the main uh, assignment, um, the for the main assignment, we just had like like clip art and stuff for the backgrounds, uh, and so we had to for for Kickstarter. We can't, of course, we can't just like use things from Google Images. So um, yeah, uh, yeah. So it was a lot of work of just like redrawing also like yeah re some some of these like uh redesigning some of these characters some some of them were a little bit like phoned in in the beginning and so i had to like <laughs> really go in and make it seem uh more coherent <laughs> that, that was a that's, i'm glad you brought up the kickstarter so i wanted to ask let's say someone missed the kickstarter um how can they get their hands on this game Oh, um, Game Crafter. Uh, Mike, do you have the link to that? Uh, I most certainly do. Let me <laughs> let me grab it real quick. Um, yeah. Um, it, it's labeled as Ambush First Edition on the Game Crafter. Um, is there a somewhere I can drop the link? Uh, um, I, 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 we can give it to the tech, but I think maybe if we just say out loud a few times, ambush first edition <laughs> on game ambush crafter. first edition on game crafter. A specific link is yeah, ambush dash first dash edition dash twenty twenty one on the game crafter. Um, oh my goodness, the screen share does not like that I went to another tab. Um, but yeah, um, it, it's on the screen right now. Um, anyone watching live? Um, yeah, we're we're currently selling it um, just for the on the Game Crafter site. If anyone wants to grab a copy for themselves. And the other question I had, um, and this is kind of a fun question, is um, uh, you both designed this great game, and to kind of wrap things up, what's your favorite card in the game? <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, Masato, if you know, you can go first. I'm still thinking. <laughs> um, I think. Oh, geez. Uh, let me find. Let me see. Search through. All right, I did think of mine. Um, my favorite card, I think, art wise, uh, is definitely. I'm looking at right now the the Orcish Berserker. Um, when when I saw Masato's art for that card, um, I. <laughs> I was just blown away by it because he he really knocked it out of the park with that one. Um, I just love how that card looks. Um, and it's also, you know, a lot of the cards in the game kind of do damage to your, you know, to your castle. They do three damage, four damage, all that. Um, and I think the the orc is kind of interesting because it doesn't actually do any damage to your castle, but it decimates your, your hands. Uh, so I've always kind of liked the sort of the theming of, you know, he, he's a berserker. He goes like full berserker rage mode. Um, and so instead of damaging your castle, he just goes straight past that and knocks out everything, you know, sort of within your castle, all, all your units yeah. that you were keeping for yourself. Um, and it, I, it can really turn the tide of the game if you use it in an interesting way. So I, I think it's a, a really cool card. And I always like it when it, it comes out in the game. And Masato? 
Uh, I think for me, uh, I think it's the golem. It is rarely, mm -hmm. I rarely see it used in most games, but it is very much like, it very much kind of shifts it towards like everyone else starts to do damage to everyone else except for the person who used it. Um, and I do remember the, the um, uh, we had uh, in, in terms of like when we, when I was redrawing the artwork, we had a couple, like we call them glow up cards where the design <laughs> was like a, like a little bit like janky in the very first edition. But um, when I went back to redraw it, I really looked into like more like before I used to draw mostly like humanoid characters. I've never really drawn like a stone golem before. And so this uh, I spent a little bit of time just like looking at like a lot of references uh, and a lot of other like golem designs and then uh, finding one that worked and then drawing drawing that out. And I really like the added detail that I that, of like the crystals and stuff within the inner crystal in the head as well that matches the color. And the, the color of the background, of course. All right. Well, thank you both for sharing. This is such a wonderful afternoon to get to play Ambush with you guys. Um, I um, really hope that um, more people check this game out because it's really, really fun um, <laughs> and really does some things I've never seen in other games before. So um, this has been Aaron Trammell on Indicate Beyond Screens. Uh, thank you, Adam, for running the tech. Uh, thank you, Parker, Sam, and Celia, and Stephanie for running the IndieCade side of things and really looking forward to um, seeing a lot of other cool games here at IndieCade this year. So, um, And thank you both, Michael and Masato, for sharing oh. Ambush. Thank, thank you, you for you know giving us a, a place to share and for you know sitting down and playing with us. Absolutely. This has been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.